So today we're back in career mode in BMG Drive and folks, we're gonna do a lot of challenges here today like becoming a police officer, racing some AI, and we even have a parking challenge, all because we're gonna save up our money and buy a brand new car this episode. And folks, the results are rather explosive and surprising. So stay tuned until the end to see what happens and let's jump in. All right, folks, we're here in the career mode and you guys wanted to see me race my own car. We've been using the proposed vehicles a lot of the time and uh, I just wanna test out my car and see if it's uh, actually decent. I mean, we did put a lot of upgrades into it uh, last episode, and oh my goodness, wait, if I... Oh, I'm just gonna spin... Oh my goodness. No, no, no. No, no, okay, let's just go through here. We have already taken out one of the AI competitors. Oh, this is fine. So today, I do wanna actually buy a car. Now, as far as what car it's gonna be, I guess we're gonna do some more challenges. I need to earn some more money, and we're gonna figure out, like, what car we need. Like, I'd like to kind of get a D-Series truck, uh, but I might be tempted to grab something else. But I need to focus here. I don't even know if I'm gonna get paid for this. Like, I feel like once you complete the challenge, uh, you don't get paid anymore. And oh my goodness, that car just hit the barrier. All right, I'm gonna get a run here. I think I've got a little bit better top speed than these uh, base model cars. Uh, we did upgrade the engine block. Hold on, let's go ahead and, oh man. My brakes still kinda suck. Uh, not gonna lie, I wanna put some race brakes on this bad boy. All right, uh, we don't have too much more to go here. If I could just, man, if I could just nudge uh, the car out of the way. I do it. Uh, we're gonna come up to a nice straightaway here. Oh my goodness. Come on Okay, back into the throttle Okay, we've got one more checkpoint if we're gonna make it happen. We gotta make it happen here. Oh, why do they break so much? It's a chicane. You can hold it wide open. Oh my goodness, dude We did it on the last uh, Checkpoint here. Here we go. Do I get paid for this? I kind of hope I do get paid. And look at that, my car is crashing after. Wait, if I go to continue from start, is my car destroyed now? Uh, oh my goodness, my car is destroyed. Wait, did I get money for that? Yeah, so once you complete the challenge, it unlocks the settings for it so you can go in and use your own car. I think I've broken my car. This is actually gonna cost me money. So, I mean, I guess we get to tow, which we haven't gotten to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and tow it to the garage. Um. Yeah, yeah, no, my car is in just, yeah, plenty fine shape. So that might be something that needs to be addressed because the car rolls in the menu after the challenge and uh, <laughs> you end up with this. Hold on, how much does this cost to repair? Uh, we can do the insurance deductible and we lose a star. Wait, what bonus star? Or we can just do a normal. Maybe we should just do a normal. So I'm gonna go boom. Now this is gonna take one minute to actually repair. I mean, it's better than losing anything else. So it only costs 500 bucks. Which, by the way, you can see my vehicle is currently worth about almost 15000 I don't have a lot of money, so we need to go complete a lot of challenges. And, uh, yeah, we gotta buy a vehicle. Okay, can't confirm my vehicle is A-OK -okay here. <laughs> it's okay, the game just kind of killed me after the uh, the event. So we're gonna go do a police chase uh, event. There's a couple of those I haven't completed. There's a trailer, and there's one where you deliver cars. And uh, yeah, we'll kind of rank up, uh, complete some challenges. I wanna get about, I would say about 20 to 25,000 into the bank uh, before we go vehicle shopping. And then uh, hopefully we can find a good deal on a, a car. All right, so we got a police chase with the hopper. You can see the objectives. Uh, I'd like to get the uh, all the stars. That way we can gain all the money here. Uh, I guess we got to arrive to the scene and the hopper's going to be there. Uh, we can stop it real quick. I think a lot of the police challenges don't want you to immediately ram the suspect car. Like, you gotta try to be somewhat realistic about it and try to pit him and pin him. So, hopefully that's what we can accomplish real quick. Oh my goodness, there's a turn right here. Uh, oh, this is fine. That actually looked cool if I didn't spin it out. Well, I didn't fully spin out, to be fair. Okay, we got eyes on the suspect. Let's go ahead and I'm sure they're gonna take off. Here we go. Oh, if I get to you nice and quick here, that'd be great. Uh, I like how there's some convenient cones set up for the suspects. Like, hey, go this way. Uh, okay, where is he gonna go? He's gonna go left. All right, he's going forward. Oh, this would be a good area to pit. If I could just get up to him, I can put him right into that fence on the right side. Come on, baby. That hopper's uh, definitely getting going pretty good here. Uh, trying to catch. Oh, he's going to let off here a little bit. Home. We got opportunity right here. Uh, oh, <laughs> that was an aggressive pit. Hold on. Uh, hold it wide open here. I'm going to try to drive him into the wall. Uh, I feel like I can pin him right there. He can't get away from me at the moment. All right, go, 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 go. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, we got him stuck. There's no way he's moving, right? Uh, wait, what? 
Why is the... Oh, there it is. I was waiting for the counter. So, what did we gain there? We got 3,000. Also, we unlocked a gas station robbery mission. Okay, you know what? Let's just keep moving here. I know I wanted the three stars, but I want to keep these uh, police scenarios up and see what other missions we unlock. Okay, so we have a gas station robbery. Uh, let's go ahead and catch the suspects. Uh, we need to try to make them remain undamaged. I don't know how possible that is. Oh my goodness, I have missed the first corner. That is going to... Definitely hurt our time a little bit. The markers, to be fair, kind of come up last moment. Uh, oh, well, there's our suspect. He hasn't really gotten very far, so we should be good. Uh, there's the gas station they probably robbed. Uh-oh. Wait, where did they... Okay, there they are. It's got a nice, convenient red arrow above them, so... Uh, let's see if we can catch up. Oh, I feel like we're already behind. Uh, I think really messing up that corner was not good. Okay. Uh, we can arrest them uh, with the heavily damaged. I mean, I could just spear them right here. That's probably not a bad idea, right? All right, come on. Man, they're going pretty good here. Uh, are they going to take the... Are they going to go straight? Yeah, they're going straight. Okay, got to watch out. This road kind of falls off over here. I uh, don't want to go flying off it. There we go. Come on. Oh, is that... Their escape point looks like it's just right past the toll booth here. Uh, oh, I gotta keep it wide open. Oh my goodness, I'm sliding to the wall and oh, I barely kissed it there. Oh, that was a nice slide. Oh, I, I think I'm too far back though. This is not good. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, I'm trying to drive it. I'm wheeling it for what it's worth, but I don't know if I'm gonna get there in time. Uh, is this your, wait, what did you do? Wait, why did they stop? Wait, what does this mean? Um, does that mean I was that far behind? We're gonna have to retry this. Uh, wait, how did I get $5,000? You know what? We'll take it. Okay, we got to deliver some furniture here. So we need to do all five pieces within three minutes. Uh, and yeah, it's on the other side of the map. You know, we had a delivery one in a pigeon uh, last episode, and it was really easy. Uh, this is going to be a little tougher. I don't think we have tie downs right now. Okay, so kind of want to take our time. I don't think we're in too big of a rush here. I'm sure there is a, I don't have a timer on screen, but I'm sure there's bonuses for doing it faster. Uh, it really seemed like a lot of it was just based on, hey, actually have all five pieces of furniture on the back of your vehicle. Oh my, Ooh. yep, I'm restarting. Okay, we're gonna take our time now. I, I want to actually have a successful delivery. So watch taking the corners too fast. Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Why would you not have tie downs? <laughs> like it, that would probably be uh, ideal. So yeah, once you complete the challenge, you do unlock the uh, option to not use the proposed vehicle. So I wonder if I had a truck, would it try to stuff the furniture? Like how would that even work if I didn't have this style of truck? I know it makes a little more sense during like the race events, being able to go back and use your own vehicle. Uh, but for here, I would think that you'd want to stick with the proposed vehicles. Okay, we're doing the thing. I wonder, can I node grab the furniture? Like, I feel like that could be a thing. <laughs> is that cheating? I mean, you could note it to the trailer if you can. And I feel like they disable the nodes in the uh, missions. Okay, just take our time. You know, I haven't actually seen traffic. Seems like traffic gets turned off during the challenges, which I feel like, I, I know you could turn it back on once you complete the challenge, but for something like this, I feel like there would need to be traffic. That way you have something else to contend with other than not taking corners too fast. And here we go. Very nice. There's a beautiful corner there. I'm um, going for all pieces being delivered and making maximum profit here. Okay, we're just going to pull into the neighborhood right here, nice and slow. There we go. And to the left. See, not everything's about speed here in BMG Drive. Sometimes, like, precision driving uh, is a thing. Even though I've been all over the road, it's completely fine. All right, let's not mess up this last corner. Just going to slow it down. We don't have tie downs for some reason. And then we just got to pull into the cul-de-sac here, and we should be good to go. Hold on, wait for it. And that's got to be the goal right there. Done. Okay, so we didn't get within three minutes. Wow, we were really six seconds away from that. Uh, we would have got a little bit extra uh, uh, money, I would assume, if we got all within three minutes. I kind of wish there was a timer on screen for that. Either I completely missed it, which, by the way, I screwed up last episode with the timer. I kept saying there wasn't one on one of the missions, and there was clearly a timer on screen. But yeah, uh, 4,500, and we got some XP. Okay, so we're on our way to go do a uh, precision parking event. I actually tried one of these off camera. You just literally have to drive and park around a parking lot. But you got to be, like, as centered as possible. Uh, it's normally a pretty quick event, so I should be able to get some quick uh, money. I'd love to use my own vehicle, but I feel like the game's going to crash it. Actually, I don't think I can until I complete the challenge once, but... Yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to use my vehicle. 
uh, a whole lot. I do want to use it for more racing, which eventually I think we'll get some racetrack missions. I think right now there's some Gymkhana and drifting missions out there that we could probably do, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be some AI racing at the track. Uh, also, I'd love to see some drag racing. Uh, some sort of missions with that, because I feel like I want to build a drag racer, have a truck, have a trailer. Uh, all right, so I guess we're going to be parking here. All right, here we go. So one of the, the special challenges for this is to do this in the driving camera, which I'm assuming is the first person camera. Not quite sure I'm ready for that. Oh my goodness, that was a bad parking job. There's 13 points there. Oh, we're backing into this one here. Uh, Komodo is not a good driver or a good parker in real life. Uh, I used to have a truck and I purposely parked on the other side of the parking lot because I was so terrible at it. Uh, thankfully, the cars now have those really good cameras, like the overhead ones. Uh, I really, really love those. That was a decent job there. All right, let's go ahead and try to make this one nice and centered. Uh, there we go. That's good. I thought that was worth 20 there. All right, we go forward and stop it there we go and oh uh, oh okay don't clip the cars okay are we gonna do this one we're gonna back into this one there we go watch the trash and stuff oh my goodness okay okay we're good we're good we're good and just pull forward a little bit there we go park it boom 17 points there it was a decent one and we should be able to swing into this one uh nice and even here there we go 14 points well we gained 3,000. uh I guess you have to be like right in the middle, but it was a quick, easy injection of cash here, which we're almost to our goal. Okay, so for this challenge, we must stop uh, a street racer. This is actually one of the early scenarios for the police. Uh, so this one should be fairly quick and we'll go to a dealership and see if we can uh, maybe, hopefully buy a decent vehicle. Uh, no guarantees though. Oh my goodness. All right, this guy's driving dangerously. We got to stop him. I mean, I think we're gonna have an opportunity here because he's gonna have to slow down. Uh, oh, buddy, okay. Uh, oh, there we go, hip check, right? Come on, come on, no, 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 no. Oh my goodness, he pushed right through. Uh, that was actually impressive by the AI. Also, I've got to whip this around. Uh, it's kind of hard to whip it around. There's not much room here. Oh my goodness. All right, well, uh, we don't have the undamaged. <laughs> uh, you're falling behind, no. I feel like we got a reset there. I got a little aggressive there. Okay, we gotta find a way to stop him. Uh, let's, man, it's kind of hard, like not to damage him too much here. He's gonna slow down really aggressive on like the bridge section. Oh, he had to dodge a car that time. Okay, uh, do we, uh, I wanna push him into the wall here. Whoa, <laughs> that's a way to stop. Oh, come on, man. Uh, okay, I just gotta stop you. Let's just stop you here. That is a heck of a way of stopping a suspect. Just drive him up on the guardrail. We should get at least the uh, other objective done, the uh, under a minute here. So there we go. That is uh, another $2,000. And also we unlocked another mission. We're unlocking these police or these uh, chase missions, uh, one right after another. You know, I thought about trading in this car, but I feel like we should keep it. What do you guys think? Should we keep this car? Uh, we'll keep it for now, but it's worth 15 k Let's see what we've got in the dealership. So... Uh, what do we have available? Oh, there's the Bastion. Oh, it's 27,000. Uh, there's a 2001 D series. That's the crew cab. Uh, there's an SBR4. That thing's expensive. Uh, yeah, we don't have quite enough money for all this. We could get, oh, that's the V6 Bastion. Actually, it's still a little bit too expensive. Uh, you got the, the RT model. I can't afford that. I don't see any D-Series, in which I don't know if I quite need a D-Series yet. Uh, man, I, I don't have the Sport, but yeah, I mean, this automatic one, it's got high mileage on it. Uh, let's inspect it real quick. This is like one of my favorite parts to the career mode is going out and car shopping. It's the RT model. It doesn't quite have the uh, 6.2 liter, or actually, I don't know how that works in this game before I speak. In real life, the, the Hellcat's a 6.2 uh, with the supercharger, or you have the scat, which is a 6.4. I think there is a 6.4 in this game. By the way, is this? That looks like leather seats. I mean, it's in decent shape, kind of high mileage. Uh, does this one have a little bit more detailed engine bay? Uh, let's go and pop that. It'll actually, uh, we'll have a little bit of money for upgrades too. Yeah, you know what? I think we're gonna take it. All right, let's go purchasing info. I can test drive it, which is also kind of a neat feature. Uh, what happens if you crash during the test drive? That's a good question. So it's going to be, uh, you got dealership fees, you got 7% sales tax. I think we're going to purchase this one outright. And then, yes, there we go. So it's now ours. We're going to upgrade this uh, before the end of the episode. I want to do some stuff. I think we need to earn a little bit more money before we do that because I'm pretty sure, what am I down to? Yeah, I got 256 bucks. 
<laughs> I'm not buying much with that. I might be able to buy like a tank of gas. All right, so we have a another race here. This one's worth quite a bit, so I'm pretty good at these. I feel like the AI are kind of still pushovers. I mean, they're, they've definitely gotten better. Uh, I say they're a lot faster during these races, but uh, definitely could be more. I do want to take the Bastion out and race it, but like I said, I, I need to do it uh, the way the game wants me to do it at first. That way I can gain the money, uh, get the stars and stuff. They're actually, you know, we're booking pretty good here. But look at that. Move up the inside. Uh, we're going to be entering the highway. I think we're going to end up over in the neighborhood with this race. Lots of uh, wide open sections can make some pretty clean passes here. Doing pretty good. Oh, my goodness. Okay. This car, like, I feel like we're racing grandma cars right now. Little Gron is definitely something I haven't, like, invested too much time into as far as driving it and, like, upgrading it. Uh, so heavy brakes here, heavy brakes. I mean, the brakes are nice on it. Oh, dude, that was a nice... Okay, that Kovet had a nice move to the inside there. Uh, I got outbraked by the AI. That is a thing. Okay, give him room here. Okay, we've got... Uh, we're about halfway, or a little over halfway. I'm um, just waiting for a little more technical section here. Oh, my goodness, dude, he just ran... Okay, I was playing nice there, but Grandma's... She's mad now. On. Uh, uh. Oh! <laughs> what the heck? You know, I talk about how the AI's pushovers and I'm losing still. Uh, to be fair, this thing drives... I mean, it's stable. It's got decent speed. Brakes are great, but it drives like a tank. Uh, oh, yeah. We got to move here. We got to move in half. Uh, uh, <laughs> I was trying to put him into the pole there. <laughs> okay. You know what? I take back what I said. AI's doing great here. Uh, okay. Oh, we got the moves, so though. We can kind of use up the curbs. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a race car, except we're going through a neighborhood. Uh, okay, here we go. Another curb. All right, we got one more checkpoint. Where is it going to be? Is it right outside of this? Oh, it's right around the corner. All right, we're good. We're good. Come on, come on. And boom. Finished. Uh, did we get a perfect score there? No, we didn't. Uh, we were really, the times are so close. Also, there's one for the traffic enabled, which I'll have to go back and repeat it. But I was one second or a little over one second from winning the race in under a minute and 50 seconds. That is ridiculous. That was fun though. All right, folks. So I got a big one lined up here. I think it's worth like close to 12,000, which should be plenty uh, to upgrade this. There's gonna be a police chase scenario, which I guess it's over here. Uh, it's called dangerous speed. So I think it's morely like highway chases, but I mean, the stakes are high. The money's great on it. Uh, I think we definitely need to take it on and we could definitely go upgrade this bad boy. By the way, where is it leading me? The chase is supposed to be over here. Wait, what? Is it circling me back around? Not gonna lie, I was actually by the start. There it is. Okay, so let's do this. Um, let's look at the objective. So, I mean, look at the money. Uh, each star is worth 4,000. I should only try to make them stop once. And I can't do the, tra can I do the traffic settings right now? I can't do that yet. I must complete the event once. Uh, I think we got this though. I'm pretty decent at high speed pursuits i would say okay here we go looks like we are chasing a etk we are in the sunburst i love this police interceptor model hold on let's turn on them sirens all right we got this where is he gonna go okay this is worth a lot of money so we know what we need to do we've got to get aggressive here uh do a little sliding might take out a couple <laughs> traffic cones it's fine or uh all right come on come on come on uh i need to get up to the side of them man thing's just fast enough i mean if i pit them they die here uh, oh my good! Wait, what was up with the brakes there? That was a big brake check. Okay, come on, back on the highway. Oh dear. Uh, I definitely hit the curb wrong because I've got a pull to the right. That was our opportunity there. I think if we were to pit them, they would have flown right off, and I think we'd have been able to stop them really quick. They're gonna get into the tunnel here. Uh, it's getting a little dangerous. Uh, the tunnel is not good for me. Uh, I feel like my steering's off, so there's a chance I'm going to lose it under here. Oh, come on. Come on, stay glued to the inside. Oh, my goodness. That's going to be a... Oh, wait, what? Dude, I don't know how it cut there at the last moment. I think actually bouncing off the curb helped. Okay, come on. I need the money here. I, I want to upgrade my vehicle. Uh, oh, I'm trying to push... Oh, my goodness. All right, go. Oh, okay. We have lost it. Uh, we need to try that again. Okay, we're cutting back through. All right, we know that we catch them pretty quick here. And I think we're gonna have to go for the pit. Gonna have to be pretty aggressive. There we go. Oh, that was nice. Okay, we're gonna get to him quick here. I think we wanna pit him into the, maybe the ditch over here. So let's go, boom, that's our pit. Okay, on, get him up on the sand. Oh yes, we flipped him. No, you've gotta be kidding. On, oh, they're damaged, the, uh, their steering is off. I don't think we get the objective for stopping him just once. Uh, come on, 
Come on, you guys are, you're done. You're done, there you go. Okay, you know what? It was worth 12,000. Uh, that is more than enough to head over to our garage and go upgrade our vehicle. Yeah, here it is, uh, ready to do some upgrades. So this is kind of your before. Uh, we'll see what the after is. I feel like I might have a little damage on the, the bumper there. Looks a little off. Okay, so what parts can we do? I mean, obviously this is a heavy vehicle, so you would want weight reduction. We'll probably do some of your basic stuff like uh, air filter or uh, intake, I should say. Uh, definitely want to try to get a little bit more speed out of this. We could put nitrous in here, or I wonder if I could supercharge this one. So we got almost 17,000 to go crazy here, which isn't a whole lot, but you know what? We're going to do it. Uh, we could put some upgraded uh, race shocks in here. It should drop it, so uh, let's go race rear shocks, uh, install those. Uh, it didn't really do much there. I'm sure it's uh, helping it handle better. That's what we need. So I want to do the front shocks real quick. Okay, so I'm going to upgrade the uh, front to a independent front suspension there. Uh, let's see if we can get a little more speed out of this. I, I don't like the bumper. I hate the wheels on this too. I, I feel like that's definitely a thing. Uh, let's make it a little bit louder. We go ahead and put a, uh, a nice race exhaust on here. Uh, do we want like just the performance one or do I want to go full race? Actually, what's the quad look like? Uh, let's see what that is. Okay, so we want to put that on. On there so right now we're about 3,000 uh, as far as the upgrades so let's not do that all right let's keep maybe trying to take off a little bit I mean we could put a carbon fiber hood on there that save a little bit of weight definitely want to change the front bumper up uh what do we have we have the sport performance you do have the wide body one what does that look like it changed it a little bit a little bit more aggressive but now the fenders aren't matching up so maybe not that one uh what about the uh, let's see the custom. What's the custom look like? Okay, not gonna lie. I kind of like the custom. Maybe throw some side skirts on here. Uh, you know what? Let's do that. Let's do custom front bumper. Okay, let's go and put a uh, spoiler on here too. What's the battle hawk look like? That one's, that one's okay. I feel like that's not as good. Let's go. What is the sport one? That's the sport. And then you have the custom. Which well, the custom's a full-blown wing. Uh, I think we're gonna stick with the sport one, which I think was already on here. So, on, uh, let's remove that. Let's see if there's a difference. Uh, okay, so yeah, that's an unnecessary part. So we're gonna leave that on there right now. I'm not too big on the uh, the Battle Hawk one they have here. Uh, let's change the wheels real quick. Okay, I like these 20 inch, uh, these black ones. So I'm gonna do black wheels in the back and then black in the front here because I hate these chrome or silver wheels, whatever you wanna call it. By the way, I'm gonna go ahead and put race springs on here. That way it sets a little lower. What are we at right now? I gotta spend another thousand on the rear wheels here. Uh, it definitely sets a lot better. Like I cannot stand the 5.7, how high it sets off the ground. It just doesn't look good. I uh, probably wanna upgrade the brakes in here too. Might have totally just removed the brakes. All right, so that puts us uh, in decent shape here. So let's go ahead and purchase that. There we go. So we have an upgraded uh, Bastion. I mean, it's not fully where I want it to be, but it's pretty close. Okay, editor, I want you to play uh, the uh, the sound of the car. Uh, wait till we get right about here, and let's go. So you can hear the supercharger a little bit. It just depends on like how much you're on the throttle, because I do have a really loud exhaust on here. We have a race exhaust. Uh-oh. We just blew the engine on the... This was something I feared. I don't wonder if the supercharger was too much. <laughs> we blew the engine while upgrading our car. <laughs> See, I I even said something about this last time uh, on the uh, on the last episode. Like, what if you over upgrade and you don't match the parts up quite right? So I have blown the engine on my career car. Thankfully, we kept the other one. Because I might need to buy some more stuff for this one in order to make it work. I might have to rip the supercharger off. So now that I don't have an engine on, let's go and tow to the road. Does that cost money? Um, It's done. I fried the engine. Like it needs to be towed back to the garage. Oh my goodness. It is oddly immersive that you can do that. And uh, yeah, we're, we're done. The, the car is already blown up. Um, It's fine. We're just gonna, hold on, can we turn on our uh, cautions? Hey, go ahead, just get around me, don't hit me. It's fine, just pop the hood. Just picture me on the side, of, I can't even open up my door, I can't get it up. You know, it's fine, we'll just open this up like this. Yep, it's just gonna be on, me on the side of the road here. I mean, you can see the supercharger on it, that looks sweet. So this is probably where we're gonna have to end this career episode. We're on the side of the road with the exploded car, but man, I had a ton of fun. If you guys wanna see more, you know what to do, comment down below. We'll see you guys next time.